So you have bone lab for a while now and you're getting kind of bored. Well, this video is for you. This is gonna be a list of 10 things to do when you're bored in bone lab. By the way, this is part two. So if you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure to do so. All right, enjoy the video. The first thing that I like to do whenever I get bored in bone lab is shoot myself. I'm kidding. It's actually driving in vehicles such as the dirt bike. I really like driving with the dirt bike because it's just such a clean vehicle. It goes fast and you can also hit wheelies with this thing. Just pretty sick. To showcase the dirt bike a little bit better, I'm gonna go off this ramp with the dirt bike. Let's go. Okay, here we go. How am I flying like this? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that was pretty cool, but I kind of missed it. So maybe this ramp works. I want to see if I can do a backflip with the dirt bike. Oh... Did I just do that? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a backflip with the dirt bike. And I feel like this is a greater like perspective. So let's go. Here we go. That's so hard. Right, next try. Oh. That was pretty cool though. So yeah. Oh my god. I got a position good for the camera. So yeah, as you've just seen, I had loads of fun with this dirt bike. And I've only used it for like 10 minutes. So that just shows how much fun you can have too with vehicles like the dirt bike. Another fun vehicle that you can use is this jetpack. It actually works. And you can actually fly forward with this thing. It's kind of hard to control sometimes, but it's such a cool vehicle. You can go up and down with this thing. And once you get used to the controls, it's such a cool vehicle to use whenever i'm bored in bone lab i love to play this map it's called the woodland mansion survival i'll link it in the description and in this map you will have to fight zombies that will spawn all around you with a pickaxe let's play the hard difficulty okay so let's wait for the zombies to come here look they just spawn like in the hallways and you just have to kill them wait there's way too many already okay let's use something better okay the hard difficulty with melee weapons was a little bit optimistic okay maybe this will help no, I'm dying. I don't have ammo anymore. Oh my god, I barely have any ammo. I forgot. I need to use this pistol now. I think that I showcased the general point of this map. It's just a really cool survival map. The fact that it's a like really well-built woodland mansion is really cool. And you can like spawn your own weapons and like play this however you want to play it. So I think that's a really cool part about this map. So yeah, if you love to just infinitely shoot zombies that come towards you, this is definitely the map for you. Another fun thing I like to do whenever I'm bored in bone lab. Let's play the tactical trial that is ported from boneworks to bone lab. It's a modded map. It's basically this time trial which works really well. So let's start it. As you can see I just have to walk through the parkour and I just have to shoot enemies and I really enjoy this because throughout the map you see like a timer and a counter of how many enemies you have killed and I always try to beat my record of 104 seconds. It's just such a fun thing to do if you just want to like practice aim or you just want to have some fun shooting some enemies so yeah now i'm gonna try to beat my previous record of 104 seconds let's go it's also quite fun because you have to do like parkour and shooting all at the same time which is pretty cool Ooh, i beat my previous record let's go so yeah if you just keep trying to beat your own previous time while having fun with it this is definitely something to do whenever you're bored in bona one other thing that you can do is play this horror campaign and this one it's pretty scary so yeah let's just start it it already looks so scary scary and i've only just begun so oh my god so this wall says no go let's go through oh my god what happened here dude these lights are so cool that makes such a scary effect is that an npc oh my god that is so cool oh these lights make it so scary that is so cool let's open this door there's zombies over here <gasps> oh that scared the fuck out of me i need a better weapon than this i didn't even know these zombie npcs were in the game what is this don't tell me there's an enemy here right thank you dude there's clipboards in this map as well there's all type of like lore to this as well that makes it so sick i actually enjoy this map dude i can hear so much zombie noises that makes it scary so yeah i'm not really gonna be playing any further for this video but yeah you get the point this is a pretty sick horror map and it has lore to it that's like an actual story and yeah it's just a pretty sick map so if you're bored from bone lab and you like these type of horror maps you should definitely check this one out one thing that i always love to do whenever i'm bored in bone lab is blowing stuff up with this micro nuke grenade and to show you how powerful this thing is just watch 
Oh my god. And the fun thing about this is that blowing stuff up is actually super satisfying. In this little pit thingy here in Halfway Park, you spawn a lot of NPCs. Okay, let's do it with some forts because they don't attack me every second. Okay, let's just spawn like a hundred forts here and then we'll blow them all up with a couple micro nuke grenades. Okay, so there's a huge brawl between all of this, but they don't know that I have a nuke. Okay, look at this. Oh, oh my god, that was so cool. You can also rocket jump with this thing. Yo! How does it look like if I have a GoPro right here and I drop a bomb on top of it? Yo, let's see what happens with the GoPro. Oh my god, what the hell is that? So yeah, I just had loads of fun blowing stuff up with this micro nuke grenade. And you can find this mod in the description below. Right, let's go to the next one. If you're ever bored in Bone Lab and you just want to complete a hard but stupid challenge, I got one for you. This map is called the Ladder Challenge. It's basically a huge ladder. Yeah, and you guessed it. You have to climb this ladder. The map is pretty cool. The music is pretty cool. This thing Fort Build is pretty cool too. Whoa, it actually worked. Fuck off. So, let's climb the ladder. Oh my god, this ladder is so big. At least I have some cool stuff to look at. I want to see what's at the top. I'm just gonna imagine to myself that there's something great at the top. So, I want to keep going. I mean, this is kind of fun, but my shoulders are kind of hurting. I'm gonna make a confession. I still want to record the other fun things to do when bored in Bone Lab. So, I'm gonna use this thingy. Okay, 1000 likes. And I'll climb this entire ladder on a YouTube stream i know it's a big like goal but i know we can get it so make sure to hit the like button so if you want a hard fun challenge in bone lab definitely download this map the link for this map is in the description you can do a lot with the constrainer but what i'm gonna do to cure bone lab boredom is building a house with bricks i'm just gonna constrain all of these bricks against each other and then i'll make a house this is a pretty cool house for the short avatar right no, i'm just kidding something that i used to really overlook about bone lab is the arena maps but recently i've started to use these ones more and i really like just playing survival in this map container yard so let's start a survival i think a cool thing about this map is that you have jump pads and it's really cool because the npcs can use the jump pads too also with these jump pads you can hit some cool slow-mo tricks just look at this look how cool it looks when it gets too easy i like to trick shot the enemies with like some slow-mo stuff which is really cool and also this thing this zipline thingy is pretty cool you can like jump off of it and then hit some cool shots too so yeah if you're bored in bone lab maybe try out arena maps like container yard another fun thing that you can do is play bowling with weird objects such as apollo oh god i kind of suck at this but maybe he hits the pin i'm just gonna keep trying until i make a strike with this apollo oh that one was good ah god damn it okay so it is kind of hard but that's what makes it fun what if i just throw a fort there I'm gonna see what happens if I do. <laughs> oh my god. Come here, you bowling ball. Oh, what? Over the fort? God damn it. That was such a cool shot. That should have been a strike. Okay, come on. We have to hit the pins with fort. Uh, no. I missed them. Ugh. Come on. Keep sliding. One pin left. No. Oh, yes. How did he touch it? So, yeah. I can have loads of fun bowling with, like, weird objects or even NPCs like fort. So, if you are still bored in Bone Lab, you should definitely try this one. One thing that I also like to do is record some cool footage in Bone Lab. There's so many different ways how you can do this. But I think that the GoPro mod does this best. I'm currently holding the GoPro. And the shot that you just saw was from the camera behind me. Right here. So you have multiple ways to like record some really cool footage. You can also attach the GoPro to a drone. And now I'm recording the perspective of the drone. And when I fly this thing, you can make some really cool shots like this. It's really cool. You actually see exactly what the drone sees. This of course gives you the availability to record some really cool videos so yeah if you like recording videos or just making some cool footage in bone lab then this is probably for you